Hi, I'm Chris Lindley, Chief Population and Health Officer for Bell Health, here with Dr. Sandler, our psychiatrist at Colorado Mount Medical. And we want to just briefly talk with everybody today about this transition that we're all underway right now, and that is moving out of a year of confinement for many of us in, in physical isolation and even interactions. Our interactions have decreased a lot because of it. And I know that brings a lot of anxiety with folks as we sure. go back to interacting and back to five days a week school. So are you seeing this in your practice? And if so, what, what are some conversations you might have with your patients about it? I have seen so much anxiety and depression through this whole last year. I mean, it's been so tough for so many people in so many different ways, whether it's you know, kids not being able to play their sports or see friends and isolation and families all being on top of each other yep. at home. And um, so the idea of sort of breaking out of this, I think most people are naturally very excited about yep. it, but there's some anxiety yep. for sure. And I think one of the things I'm really talking with people about is anxiety is normal. Yeah. Anxiety is normal. Sadness is normal. When something sad happens, you should be sad. Right. When something nerve wracking happens, yeah. anxiety is a signal like, you know, something's changing. Yeah. And so I think sometimes just understanding that and accepting that and knowing that it's okay to yeah. feel like that. And I think that's, I, I think that's really key that it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be nervous or, or fearful that it's a national emotion to what's going on around us, right? Right, it's very true. And we yeah. know that, I mean, a sign that anxiety is not normal is if it's preventing us from doing things. Okay. So if we have an ability now to get out and we're like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be out there, I wanna stay home, then yeah. you know that may be a sign that, you know what, maybe that isn't okay. And maybe I do need to take a look at you know, what's holding me back. Great, so if, if folks are feeling a little nervous, a little maybe fear of the change that's coming, totally okay, but if it's really impacting their day-to-day -day life and their ability to go to school or go to work or be a parent or whatever it is, that's when they should probably seek help and, and talk to a licensed provider like yourself. Right? Exactly, okay. and we at CMM have um, numerous therapists that can help them, um, a lot of, um, therapists around the um, community, so absolutely, Great. there's definitely help out there if you need it. And what we'll do is we'll put the number for Colorado Mount Medical uh, Behavioral Health Services at the bottom of this, so if you need an appointment, folks can just call and get an appointment. Sounds great, great. yes, thank you. Thanks guys.